If you go to your Google Play Store settings, scroll down and see that your device is not certified. There are a whole lot of reasons that could cause that. But one way not to solve it is going to a device ID, getting your Google services framework and then copying the number and then going to a website, google.com forward slash Android for slash uncertified and then pasting it there. Now that will not solve your uncertified problem. You might be able to install some app from Play Store but you won't be able to solve that with registering it on this uh, Google website. But if you want a permanent fix for your device and you want your device to move from non-certified to device certified, then sit back and relax and I'll show you in a few minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to Smart Depot. This video is for those who have installed Magisk or are rooted. But yet, if you go into Magisk and you check, you're still not passing safety net status. That means once this thing is read, the CTS profile is false, you go to Google Play Store, automatically your device will be showing not certified. You don't even need to check. It will be like that. So if you have uh, your <laughs> uh, Magic installed, we're going to show you how you're going to actually, instead of using Magisk Hide, you know, to hide some applications you, we can actually show you how you can actually use magic to completely you know move your device to certify without hiding anything before we continue click on that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell icon thank you very much so what are the effects of uh, this device not certified i mean you can search for some device that you should be able to see but it's not there. Like this one, my uh, launcher have it, you know, saved before. So if I search it with the launcher, I'm going to see it as, but it's telling me that the, the, your device is not compatible with this. But as you can see, I've installed it before. And it's not just DSTV now, because I'm in Africa, Nigeria, to be precise. Uh, Netflix, Google Pay, all the streaming services will still give you the same issue. Now, you can still be able to sideload the APK, you know, download the APK, maybe from MPK Pure or some other place and install it. It. yes you'll be able to install it and um but when you're now going to you know watch the 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 use the app you still get that same warning now what many people do is that they use magisk um hide to hide it and you'll be able to use it yes you can but the problem with that is that even if you're using it with magisk hide you will still see it again on the google play store it will not update you will not get the latest features so let's get started so what do we need to get this done we need like three apps three major apps and one optional now the first one we need is terminal just go to google play store type terminal download anyone and then you can also download device info hw if you want and then we'll go to magisk you're going to download two magisk model number one is magisk hide uh, props config magisk hide prop config is the first one the second one is busy box so so these are the two things we need. Uh, we're going to install it. I'm going to guide you through the installation process also. Um, you're going to click it, install it from Magisk. And after you've installed the busy box, then you're going to install the Magisk Hide uh, Props config. So these are the two things that we we'll need to install. And after we're done installing it, we reboot the phone. So once we reboot, we open the terminal app. And then you're going to type the word props. P-R-O-P-S. So, and then once you're done, hit enter and then it will open up a whole new window for us to do some operation. Now, these uh, props actually have a lot of advanced operation, but we're going to just work with the one, the number one, edit device fingerprint, because this is what will go in and fix the reason why we have that basic problem of device not certified, because there might be error in the device fingerprint and other stuff like that. So it will show you your current device uh, fingerprint. Uh, this one is a custom ROM, so there might be one or two things that might not be right. Then you're going to select certify um, device. So you could see the list of devices in the list. Now, the funny thing is that your device might not be here. So if your device is not here, just choose anyone, any any make uh, that's have a device that is close to your own. I'm going to choose, I'm using Realme X2 uh, on a custom ROM Lineage OS 16, but I'm going to choose Redmi Note 8 Pro because they were actually launched almost the same time. So now it's going to show you one in the new fingerprint that it will put. Of course, you can also use this app to reset or remove the fingerprint if you want or if you don't like it and revert to the old one. So I'm going to choose it. I'm going to ask it to really, really install that. 
it doesn't matter this will not change your device name or whatever but it will make sure that your device device moves to certified so once we've done this now we reboot the phone we open magisk and then we're going to check safety net as you can see now the safety net is true and mind you once the safety net is true you don't even need to go to google uh, clear uh, cache clear setting you don't need to do that once you go to google setting the device is straight you know as simple as that the device is now certified you can now search for the dstv the netflix the app that you're not seeing before if you search it right now it will appear straight away in play store and then you can download it you can update it you can do everything you want this is the same app that's showing us now that it's not compatible with our device and um we've just done that so um now some of you might ask is it not just the the fingerprints now this is the device uh, info hr the fingerprint have now changed to redmi note 8 but some of you might ask is it not just the fingerprint no it's not just the fingerprint the, this application changes a lot of things because there are some other hidden places in your system that this uh play store checks especially the boots you see now there is also a boot fingerprint image that the the play store always check why the system is booting and once it sees it's wrong it will mark your device as uncertified so it's quite advanced you can actually use the application to bring your own device if you know this fingerprint and all that but it's quite really really complicated and a bit difficult so i will just let you to use this one and subscribe to the channel we have a whole lot of videos uh, coming up and even the ones we've already done and then i'll see you in the next one please stay safe where you are peace out subscribe i'll see you